Australian dollar against US dollar this week has dropped in the value items and what we can see this the week has started here uh, at support level at 0.64 and the price has tried to make retrace back up trying to reach the first resistance level at 0.65 and from there the price has bounced back down and formed a bearish breakout just on a Monday and after that continued to fall down even more or during the week where on the Friday the price has almost reached the second support in the demand zone at 0.634. Well, the weekly time frame this is a continuation of this bearish trend and we can see that this was a bearish breakout in the previous week and this week the price has confirmed that the bearish breakout is a valid one where the price has just stopped in between this is this great supply zone at 0.65 and below that at 0.63 as the demand zone and on a monthly time frame this is a continuation of this bearish uh, candle as as we have seen in the previous week so this is also what we can see uh the next target for the price at 0 0.634 also on the monthly time frame so based on the, on this one what we can see australian dollar i guess US dollar is falling and it's losing value and continuing this uh, bearish trend and the next support level and also where is the demand on where the price could stop is this one here 0 0.634 what is the lowest point for the price that it can go? We can see that very important level will be here at 0 0.638. This is visible on the monthly time frame, but the price could also make a, uh, make a breakout to the downside, all, going all the way down here to 0 0.6268. We'll see that much more clearly on the daily time frame because we will see uh, what is the next support level below this one, which is uh, the biggest one. So on this one, what you can see, this is continuation of the bearish trend. So I'm uh, also seeing the price will continue to fall down in value uh, all the way to 0 0.634, which is the next support level. So for the price, in order to return back up, uh, the price needs to make a breakout first is this one here where the price could not make a breakout to the in the previous month so this is less likely but can it happen we will see that on the lower time frames on the weekly we can see that is uh, the bearish breakout that has been confirmed so i am uh, i am uh, i am inclined to see the price moving all the way down to 0 0.634 which is the next support level and then we will see will the price also manage to go below this one which will be 0 0.6295 or we can round this number to 0 0.630 as a round number so this is the next level where i'm expecting uh, the price to go uh, there are no signs at least visible here on the weekly time frame that there is a potential that the price could retrace back up but have in mind that we currently have here a small support level where the price had problems in, in the past. This is the first one where the price could stop is 0 0.634, uh, sorry, 0 0.64. We can surround this number here. And on the upper side, what is the issue for the price is 0 0.643. So this is the 30 pips that the price has issues and it is a small support and resistance here where the price currently is. If we go to the daily time frame, we will see how this looks. Let's zoom out a little bit just to see a bigger picture. In the past, we can see where the price had problems is this here, 0 0.6395. We can round this also 0 0.64. But this is the price where the pri uh, price had problems and we can see the price has just stopped right here. And then when the price reaches this area here, when the price is trying to go up, this is also an issue for the price where the price could stop and this is the small resistance which is 0 0.642 around this one so this is also visible where the price had problems and where the currently price is but what we can see here is the bearish breakout that has been uh, confirmed on a tuesday where the price is returned back up just again to confirm this the previous support now acting as a resistance and then continue to fall down on friday but on the friday there was some kind of a retrace because of this great selling uh, uh this is a great um, uh, demand zone where the buyers are and also the sellers who have entered into the trade they have exited their trades before the prices reach at this uh, support level so this has been also this, this has also triggered a retrace on friday so what we, what i'm expecting is that, that the price will continue to fall down and reaching 0 0.634 uh in the in the next uh, uh week because it is a great support level where the price had problems in the past and we can see how this looks after the price reaches the price retrace back up and then 
again falls down will the price return back up and go all the way to this one here which is the next uh, resistance here 0 0.65 it is possible but i need to see the price going above this area which is the first supply zone and then we'll see what happens here but for now as it looks i am more inclined to see the price moving down to the uh, first support level which is 0 0.634 and then we'll see will the price bounce back up again or the price will continue to fall down even more where the lower side is 0 0.63 as a round number we can see that here so this is uh, what I'm seeing and also what is in line with the trend and that is the downtrend where the price has gone outside of this uh, indecision, indecision range area where the price is trying to reach lower side levels and where the great support and the demand zone is located so if there is any bullish breakout for example here or or bearish breakouts here uh, following i will share that inside the telling group with the traders so this is all see you next time and happy trading that is all from today analysis i hope you enjoyed if you have any question feel free to leave a comment if you like the analysis click the like button and subscribe see you next time and a happy trading